I have heard professionals in the field of finance tell me many times that they wish that they would have gotten a degree in computer science, and vice versa. I've heard professionals in the field of computer science tell me the same thing about finance. Um, the truth is, people who are interested in one of these fields are likely to have an interest in the other one. Um, a little bit about me and why you might even want to listen to me on this subject is I have a bachelor's in finance, a master's in finance, and I am currently pursuing a master's in computer science. So I know a bit about both worlds and let's get into which one might be best for you. For the first category, salary, I'm going to give the edge to computer science. I've looked at Forbes.com, uh, US News, uh, Payscale and Monster.com and found that on every single list, computer science is consistently ranked ahead of finance. Now, that's not to say that finance is a bad major in terms of salary. In fact, that is not the case at all. Finance is a high paying major as well and typically listed in the top 25 of most highly paid bachelor's um, lists. But computer science would typically be found in the top 10 or the top 5 of these lists. And that's just because right now at this point in time, computer science is typically more highly in demand than finance. For the second category, difficulty, I'm going to give the advantage to finance. And what I mean by this is that finance is actually an easier major to achieve. Um, if you go down the route of computer science, uh, you're going to be spending a lot of nights and weekends studying and working on homework assignments where the rest of your peers in college are actually out having a good time and socializing. Uh, that's just because of the nature of computer science. It is intensely time consuming for a lot of these tasks, making uh, code compiled properly, working through all the debugging errors. It's not as subjective as finance where a lot of the um, homework you can... Is basically on a piece of paper with a pen and it's just not nearly as time consuming and so for that reason I think if you go through college with a finance major you're probably gonna enjoy it a bit more than computer science for the third category entrepreneurship potential I'm gonna give computer science the clear advantage uh, this isn't something that people talk about often but when you learn computer science and you learn how to program you're also conditioning yourself in a way to think outside of the box and think about uh, possible products or softwares or websites that don't currently exist or a niche that you can fit in and you have these tangible skills where you can develop these ideas that come into your head. Um, with finance, I would say that I didn't really have the same sort of idea way to think about ideas when I was pursuing these degrees as I did when I started my uh, master's in computer science. Um, one thing to be said about entrepreneurship and having a major in finance is that you might actually understand the um, expense, revenue, uh, business valuation side of things a little bit better and the bookkeeping uh, behind it, but you might not have the same sort of entrepreneurship idea generation as a computer science major. For the fourth category, necessity of the degree, I'm going to give the advantage to finance. So in the field of finance, you need at minimum a bachelor's degree in finance to really land any of these uh, more uh, desired finance positions. And in a lot of cases, you might even need a master's in finance. Um, you're not really going to get beat out for a job by someone that might have a uh, you know, a two-year associate's degree in finance or a high school education or a self-taught um, professional in finance. I mean, if you got that bachelor's degree in finance, that's the threshold. In the field of computer science, um, there's all these code boot camps, even a two-year associate's degree. If someone really knows how to code, they can beat you for the job, even if you have a bachelor's in computer science, just because they might be a better programmer. So um, I think... In computer science, you don't necessarily even need a degree in computer science. You just need to be able to program properly, whereas finance, that is a minimum threshold that you have a bachelor's degree. For the fifth category, future of the profession, I'm going to give the edge to computer science. We are already seeing a lot of jobs in the financial services industry being eaten by automation. On automation is driven by uh, computer science uh, professionals. So... I've sat in the chair of a lot of uh, different finance roles in my career thus far, and some of them I've, I've seen are very likely to be automated in the near future. A lot of people in the field of finance spend a lot of time doing very routine tasks 
in uh, Microsoft Excel or other softwares where they're doing kind of a a, a very similar step by step process on a daily, monthly basis. Where in the future, likely a software engineer or someone who's a professional programmer will be hired to automate the process that a lot of these finance professionals are currently doing. And also um, in the field of asset management and investments, we've seen a trend to away from active management. So active management is when uh, humans are actually using their skill and judgment in choosing investments to produce some sort of return. And, and we're seeing less money pushed towards that and more money to push towards passive management, which is basically just automated systems of investing in um, index funds or exchange traded funds that just simply match an index. And so, um, I mean, this trend from passive or active management to passive management is another hint towards the future of finance being cannibalized by certain jobs in computer science. Now, this certainly won't be the case for all of the jobs in finances. There's a lot of um, human interaction in some of these roles like consulting and certain like financial sales. But overall, I think, and this is my opinion, that we might see a shift and a reduction in jobs in finance over the next 20, 30 years. And for the final category, enjoyment, I'm calling this one a tie. Now, this is entirely based on people's individual preferences and personalities. Um, I'll say this, for the field of computer science, this is largely going to be uh, more appealing to people with introverted personality types as you spend a lot of the day uh, working on problems, working through these uh, complicated issues by yourself staring at a screen in the field of finance there certainly is a lot of staring at a screen by yourself but there's certain roles within finance um, that might be aimed more towards extroverts like i said previously like consulting financial uh, sales related jobs will have a lot of face-to-face -face human interaction where success in these positions is dependent on um, the skill of a person's uh, in interpersonal skills and so certainly there's some overlap between finance and uh, computer science when you're talking about finance positions that are more technical in nature, more quantitative, or more analytical. But there's a broader spectrum of roles, I would say, within the financial uh, services profession in terms of extroverted versus introverted personality types. No matter which of these two majors you choose, um, they're both great choices as they're in high demand, highly compensated, and a lot of different career paths to go for either one. Um, I wish you the best of luck in making your decision. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel for more just like it. And let me know in the comments if you have any further questions on the uh, career paths or differences in degrees between finance and computer science.